Hello everyone and welcome back to part 17 on how to create a Among Us game on Roblox. Before we start, I want to say that um, uh, I'm doing a 1000 Robux giveaway when I reach 1000 subscribers. So make sure to subscribe, I will choose a random subscriber and give him 1000 Robux. And also, I hope that the video quality is going to be much better now since I just up upgraded my PC. So now it should be way better. So yeah, let's start. Uh, so firstly, let's see if we have any bugs in the game. So let's go to test and test the game with two players. So let's start a two player server and wait for it to load. Wait, uh, yeah, uh, I forgot to, uh, in, in the last episode, I forgot to add sabotaging. So we're gonna add that in this episode and we will fix the shop. We will we'll make it so that, uh... wait, let me first see if we have another bug. So, who is the imposter? So, uh, player 2 is the imposter, so we will go ahead and call an emergency meeting. Uh, actually, before we do that, so the imposter can't do a task, but let's see if the crewmate is able to do it. Yeah, he is, but as you can see, uh, he can't really touch it again, so we'll fix that. Actually, it sh <laughs> the crewmate shouldn't be able to, make to do the same ta task again, but... Uh, we will do it so that if it, the round ends, they will be able to do the task in the next round. So, yeah. Let's see if we will be able to do a task. Let's wait for the timer to go down. Okay, so the round just ended. Let's see if uh, the round will start again. Okay, so, uh, player one is a crewmate again, so let's see if he will be able to do a task. As you can see, we can't do a task again. And also, we can buy items from the shop infinitely, so we'll fix that. So let's just close out of the server, and let's start fixing some bugs. Firstly, uh, I want to make this, uh, the shop button, uh, I want to convert it to, uh, scale so let's go to plugins unit conversion and scale and this should be it yeah it's it should be working let's go to this main frame and set the position of it to uh, actually let, let me just make this smaller and i'm going to customize it a bit so let's add a ui corner to it and add a uh, Actually, we don't need something else. We just need a Y corner. And I'm going to make the background uh, color to something nice, like a nice little gray, so that it matches the theme of the game. And the text to hat shop or just shop. And I'm going to make sure that text scaled is set to true and that the text color is white i mean you can customize yours however you want i'm going to make it to make the text color white and i'm going to set the font to something that i like i really like uh, search sense bold so i'm going to use that one and i'm going to set the border no not border text stroke text stroke transparency to zero so that we can see the text and now it's it should be working and i'm going to set the make sure that you set the display order of this to uh, ma make sure that you set the the display order of the main screen g why not the hat shop the main one to uh something like two and uh, the uh, uh tasks one to two so that it works no Actually, yeah, let's do that. So now let's test the game again. And see if the UI glitches.
Okay, so uh, player one is the imposter this time, and as you can see, we can't see the uh, shop button w w when the uh, you are when the crewmate frame shows up. So this is good. So now let's fix the uh, this thing, the the tasks. Instead of uh, instead of uh, making the the thing visible from the uh, from the uh, from a normal script, we'll do it from a local script. So we'll create a remote event inside of replicate the storage. Let's add a remote event to replicate the storage remote event, and we will uh, where is it? Yeah, it's here. We'll rename it to something like uh, I don't know, just a task or task handler. Uh, and it should be working now what we're gonna do is instead of uh, putting uh, player dot player gy dot tasks dot uh, download data dot visible is equal to true we will uh, just change it to game dot replicate the storage dot uh, task handler con fire client con fire client and we'll send the name of the task. So this one is called, let me see, it's called download data. Uh, Confire client script dot parent dot name. Actually, no, we have to uh, fire client uh, player, comma, and uh script dot parent dot name and then we will go down to uh start gy and inside of the tasks uh inside of the tasks uh uh screen gy we'll add a script actually no let's add it to the uh let's add it to the uh download data frame so add a local script to it game dot replicate the storage dot uh actually no let's just remove the script uh and uh, put one inside of the task screen gy inside a uh, local script inside of the task screen gy and we'll rename it to uh i don't know let's just you know what let's keep it local script and we will uh Create an event so game dot replicate the storage dot uh, tasks handler dot on client event call connect function and uh, call connect function uh, player actually let's just use uh, yeah player comma and uh, let's put uh, name and make sure that you write name with an a with um, a uh, don't write it with a capital n make sure that you write it like this and then uh, we'll write in between these two lines script dot parent confined first child uh, name dot visible is equal to true let's see if that works let's drag this inside of uh, here so that we can just test it with the uh, one player wait uh, is this the download data task or the other one let me see tasks so it's the download data one and we have an error i think yeah, we have an error. Argument one missing or well, just put name dot name instead of name, and join the game again. Please work. Okay, so we should have an error again. Attempt index new with name. 
I think what we did wrong is uh, wait let me see so we send the player oh I think we don't really need a player argument we just need the script dot parent dot name in the uh the download data one instead of the this script that's instead of the download data script uh of the download data part uh wait why is that thing on my screen i don't know let's just test the game and i hope i really really hope this works enable to cast value objects wait so we send the uh name of the part oh wait actually we have to uh send the player and then inside of this script inside of this local script we'll just make uh we'll find first child uh, download data i just want to see if it will work okay so now it's working so let's fix that i want it to i want to use only one remote event for all of the tasks that's why i'm doing this so let's just create a variable for the uh for the download data task so local uh, and by the way i'm doing this inside of the script that's inside of the download data task so i'm going to create a variable for the uh, task so local task is equal to script dot parent we're gonna send the player here and the task and in here we will inside of the uh, local script we will put uh, script.parent can find first child uh, task dot name dot visible is equal to true so let's see if that works i don't really think it will work as you can see it didn't work so i think yeah we don't need a player argument here I'm not sure though. Yes, it's finally working. Okay, so uh, we fixed that. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the uh, for the download data for the press the button task. So just uh, copy this script and paste it inside of the press the button one uh yeah this should be working let's test it so now we fired the other one so now let's go ahead and try to fire the uh wait where is the map so the map is here let's drag this inside of here and let's go ahead and touch this one as you can see now we, uh, we are only using one remote event for all of the tasks and it's also working automatically so we don't need to uh, do anything just when you're making a new task just make sure that your um, your thing that uh, prompts the task. Let me show you. For example, we create. Let's create a uh, part that will be a task. Let's say that this is a. Let's make it blue. Let's say that this is your task. Call it, for example. Uh, uh, I don't know. Fix wiring. All you have to do is to. Uh, inside of your task GY, let's uh, add a frame. Let's say this is just the task. Just rename it to the same name of the actual uh, block. So let's, uh, we called it uh, fix wiring. 
so let's call this one to fix wiring and it should work let's see if it works fix wiring and i'm going to make it invisible and i'm going to drag the wait i always forget where is the map so now it should work without having to modify any scripts so let's touch the uh, red one it should prompt the uh, press the button task and if we touch the gray one it should prompt the uh, uh what do we call it the download data task and if we touch the blue one nothing happens so let's fix that oh here's why Wait, actually. Why did it do that? Fix wiring. So we call this one fix wiring, and the other one is called fix wiring. Why would it do that? Oh, I know why. Because we didn't add a. Uh, just copy this script and. Uh, Actually, no, no, we, we don't need to do that. Just uh, duplicate the script, the script, and put it inside of the fix wiring task, and it should work. So let's see if that works. Let's touch the blue one, and we should see this. Bro, I forgot to add a close button to it, but that's fine. Let's touch now the green one, and it should show this. And if we touch the other one, it should show this task. And what if we touch it again? It should show it again. So yeah, let's fix uh, the... Uh... So let's say the player already done a task. We will just... Um, just remove this fixed wiring task. We'll add some more tasks later. This was just a test to show you how to add your own... Uh, how to make uh, your own task. So uh, what do we have to do? yeah so if the player uh, already did the task we don't want the player to be able to do it again so let's fix that uh, all we have to do is when the player is doing the, the task we will uh, check wait so in here after this if player then we will check if player can find first child uh, uh confines with child script dot parent dot name then and we're gonna put an else and just copy this line i mean cut it by pressing ctrl x and paste it here so if we don't find a value called uh, uh that we called uh, the name of the task we will um, we will make the task visible but uh, if we actually find find it we will actually if we we'll do that let me think about this okay so I know how to fix this. All we have to do is to uh, actually no. Enter your script and just uh, wait. Let me just think about this. So if the player is there, we'll check if he, he don't have a value. Okay, so I know how to fix this. In here, we will just write the game dot players dot player added comma connect function player we'll create a variable local uh, value is equal to instance dot new uh, let's create a just a string value string value so value dot name is equal to the script dot parent dot name uh, 
value dot parent is equal to player and so we'll go check if he has it actually i know i know what we're gonna do just uh, in instead of a string value we'll add a uh, a uh, bool value let me firstly show you what a bool value is let's add a bool value to the workspace so a bool value is basically a value that is uh, uh, just true or false so when they touch it uh, we will just make it true and when when they when they are done with the task we'll just make this value false so let's just remove this for now and in here we will check if player colon find first child skirt dot parent dot name uh, dot uh, value is equal to true is equal equal to true then so in here let's just set the value dot value is equal to false and this should work if it's equal to true then uh, actually we need to firstly make set it to true so let's think about how are we going to be able to do this so if the player is there we will actually i know all we have to do is just uh uh in here we'll just check if player dot uh val dot uh if player can find first child script dot parent dot name dot value is equal equal to false then and in here we'll set the value to true so uh player no yeah player dot uh player can find first child first child script dot parent dot name dot value is equal equal to true is equal to true okay so it should be working i think so we did this for the download data task so let's see if it works so uh, my player has a uh, download data value inside of him so let's touch this brick and we download the data and we close it we should not be able to touch it again so yeah and when the round ends all we have to do is to just set this value to false and of course we will do that from a script and then he will be able to do it again so yeah that's really pretty easy to do let's just copy this script and paste it on all the tasks that we have and that's all our let me check if i'm still recording yeah i am still recording so uh, what do we have to do now yeah we don't have to do anything now uh we just need to go to the uh to server script service and uh, inside of the main script we will go to the uh
yeah, when the round ends, where is that script that ends the round? Yeah, when the round ends, we'll just look through the players. So for I comma V comma V in pairs. Wait, let me first show you where, where am I writing. So inside of the uh, main script, you know what? Let's do this. Uh, uh, in the bottom of the script, we will create for loop. So for I comma for I comma V in for I comma V in pairs. Uh, game dot players come get players do v can find for wait yeah v can find for first child of class make sure that you write can find first child of class with a capital f and a capital of f again and a capital c and a capital o and a capital c just like mine so if v confines first for i can be in person uh, v confines first child of class bool value dot value is equal to false so in the round and so we should be able to do the task again so let's drag these two blocks to the uh, back to the original place wait it was here i think yeah it's definitely here so let's drag them here and let's test the game with two players again so let's go to test and start a two player server and this should be fixed Okay, so player one is the imposter. He should not be able to touch the brick. So let's do a task. As you can see, the imposter can do the task, but uh, the crewmate should be able to do it. So yeah, we can just download the data and do this task. As you can see, I already did it, so I should not be able to do it again. And let's wait for... Uh, the round to end. Let's buy a hat. Okay, let's uh, the round will end right now. Okay, so let's see if we will be able to do it, the task again as any as a crewmate. So player one is the imposter again. So let's go ahead and touch a brick. And as you can see, now I'm able to do the task. Hey, uh, wait. Let's fix that. Uh, what I saw is that the tasks don't actually reset when uh, when the player. Uh, uh, does the task so yeah let's uh, go to the download data task and inside of the uh, I think it was yeah inside of this script we'll wait three seconds and we'll set that to false and we'll copy this line of code script.pen.background.main call to in position call to in size and we'll copy the size of the main bar that's, in, uh, that's uh, inside of the background frame. Go to the size, copy it, paste it here, close these. Wait. Close, uh, remove these uh, weird black brackets and that should be it for the this task.
let's firstly close all scripts so that everything is all organized and now let's fix the other uh, task which is the download one the uh, press the button one actually let's make it uh, look uh, way cooler by um, let's make it visible I don't really like this task it's so simple and it's just not worth it not worth making so I'm going to this download the button yeah you know what we're gonna do we will just uh, copy this text label actually just delete this text label and add a uh, frame to this frame and just resize it I'm going to make it this big and I'm going to plugins unit conversion and scale and I will leave a link to this plugin in the description then rename it to uh, one or actually to two and just uh, customize it so the background color three to something like uh, let's make it red a nice light red and let's duplicate it and rename it to one instead of two and we will put it here and make it smaller and make the other one smaller and center them like this and i think yeah we don't need to do anything let's put this close button here and customize these two let's make the first one blue and let's uh, make the border size pixel of both of the these two zero and what i'm going to do is this task is going is going to be something like uh, wait i don't know how to explain it i'm going to show you later so select this uh, uh, download button and we will copy its size just set the uh, text to nothing and i'm going to make the background color something like uh i think gray will work pretty well yeah and i'm going to uh, i'm going to uh, remove the ui corner and I'm going to make the anchor point position to zero, comma zero, comma zero, comma actually zero, comma five. Wait, actually, uh, we don't need to do that. We just need to uh, let me think out this task. So this should be this should scale itself like this to here so let's let's make firstly the uh, border size pixel to zero yeah let's do this so let's just uh, add a ta a just duplicate this text button and put it here and let's set the text to something like uh, fix and I'm going to select this and I'm going to remove the script inside of it and I'm just going to edit this script so uh, and also rename this to uh, I don't know, let's rename it to something like uh, bar and I'm going to select this and I'm just going to make script 
to write script dot parent dot uh bar dot parent dot bar dot size uh, no between size and i'm going to firstly so copy the size of the bar and i'm just going to paste it here for now we'll uh, use it later just copy select this and make it big and copy the size of it now and go back to your script and put it here and just remove these um, weird bra brackets and then just copy this paste it on the size of the bar again and now we will uh, wait three seconds or just two wait i actually have to put here udim udim2 dot new wait udim with a capital d udim2 dot new and some brackets and copy these and paste them here and then we'll wait two seconds and copy this line paste it here copy the size of the bar again go to size copy it and go back to your script and paste it here and remove the, the weird brackets again and you should be good to go so let's test the game with two play let's firstly make this task invisible by setting the visible property to false and i'm going to test the game actually i need to test it with two players let's test the game with two players and see if we have any bugs again so we can fix them later actually right now so now what i did is i made that task uh, i made a new task so the game is starting so player one is a crewmate and let's go ahead and touch this three two one let's touch this and it should be working and uh, it should go invisible and now let's touch this one and when we click fix it should fix itself wait i know why i did that all we have to do is to go back to your script to your local script and in here we'll make the frame invisible so script dot parent dot uh parent dot uh visible is equal to false so now we are done with the tasks of course we will make more tasks let's firstly uh finish off the gameplay so we'll make a sabotage button let's add a screen gui and rename it to sabotage sabotage and uh, let's add a frame make it big and make the um uh, display order to one or to three and center your frame so now it's centered and go to plugins unit conversion and scale i will leave a link to this plugin in the description and add a uh, ui corner to your frame and just uh, we don't need to edit the ui corner just uh, rename your frame to to main frame and i'm going to add a uh, I'm going to firstly customize it so just i'm going to set the background to color three to uh, 
something like a, a red or a blue I don't know I'm not a, I'm not a UI designer so I'm just going to make it gray and I'm going to add a text button to it and I'm going to add a, a UI corner to the text button and we will uh, we'll just uh, go to plugins unit conversion and scale and I'm going to rename the text button to uh, sub to electrical and I'm going to set the text of it to electrical And make sure that text scale is set to true and that the uh, font is set to something that you like. I'm going to make it source sense bold as always. So after that, I think I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to add a local script. Actually, before we do that, uh, and by the way, I, I pressed this button to make all of the UI invisible. So, uh, let me show you. Let's uh, go to your map and add a folder or a model, a model, and rename this model to electrical, electrical. and add a part to the model a part and let's say that this is electrical this part select your part and wait i hate this you know what to fix this i'm going to remove this uh, electrical model and instead we're going to add a folder so uh let's rename the folder to electrical electrical and we will add a part to electrical and let's uh, put it here and then we'll scale it up so this is to, going to be the electrical room and i'm going to make sure that both of the parts are anchored so make sure that anchor is set to true and i'm going to duplicate these two parts and i'm going to press ctrl r to row it rotate it then i'm just going to remove this part and i'm going to scale this one up like this and i'm going to scale it up like that and this is going to be electrical Let's add a roof, let's just duplicate this part and scale it down and now let's scale it up like this. And by the way, I have uh, collisions turned off. Uh, if you want to turn it off, just uh, pr press it. Uh, it's uh, inside of the home, uh, wait. Yeah, it's inside of home and collisions. So yeah, let's make a... Uh, door now so just add a another part and rename it to door you know what i'm going to remove remove this i'm going to duplicate the floor no the uh, roof and rename it to door and i'm going to scale it down and I'm going to scale to scale it like this and like this let's make it red or uh, gray yeah let's make it gray 
a dark gray. Let's say that this is electrical. Uh, we made this dark gray. And make sure that the door is uh, renamed to door. And I'm going to uh, make sure that everything is anchored. So everything is anchored. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, to this uh, electrical button and I'm going to add a local script to it and I'm going to create a cooldown variable so local cooldown is equal to 5 or something to actually let's put it to 30 seconds and let's uh, let me think about this yeah we'll just create a, a pressed event so script.parent.mouse button one click call connect function Uh, we don't need any variables and we will uh, create a variable for the electrical so local uh, electrical local task no it's called the uh, local room is equal to script dot parent and I'm going to uh, Higher a remote event, so uh, let's check if not if uh, not cool down. Actually, let's make this false. If and here we'll check if not cool down, then cool down is equal to true then we will uh, fire a remote event so let's add a remote event to uh, replicate the storage add a remote event uh, try to find it uh, it's here yeah it's here and rename it to sabotage 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 and uh we'll fire the remote event so game dot replicate storage dot uh sabotage on fire or fire server we'll send the player let's create a variable for the player local player is equal to game dot players dot local player actually let's put this variable up here much better it's m more efficient and in s in here we'll send the player variable and the room so uh, let's see if this is going to work so uh, once again we will use one remote event for all of the uh, for all of the uh, rooms just like we did for for the tasks uh, for the tasks so yeah let's uh, see if that will work and actually let's put a wait and let's create a variable local cool down down time is equal to 30 seconds so this is going to be how much time the imposter is going to have to wait if uh, uh, if uh, he wants to sabotage so we don't want him to be able to sabotage each time to just spam the sabotage button so we're, for that we'll make a uh, cool down so let's put a wait cool down time cool down time and cooldown is equal to to false. Then uh, let's go to the remote event and also make sure that your uh, text button is renamed the exact same. Um, it have the exact same name as the room that you want to sabotage. So just uh, add a script now to server script surface, and we will name it sabotage uh, sabotage 
and let's zoom in and start writing so uh, let's write game dot replicate storage dot uh, uh sabotage dot on server event call connect function uh room game dot replicate storage wait let me see what i did for with the uh tasks i think yeah i just uh used the room the task as a variable so here we will just use room as a variable and game dot uh actually workspace dot uh confide first child room dot name no uh, workspace dot uh, map confide first child room dot name dot door dot transparency is equal to uh, one to zero and copy this paste it here and room dot door dot transparent dot uh, can collide can collide is equal to false to true And then we will wait uh, 10 seconds. You can change this time to this way to wherever you want. Let's just copy this and paste it here and change this to one and this to false. And now let's make the UI invisible and select this door and make sure that transparency is set to one and that uh, can collide is set to false. this should be working and also let's do something real quickly we'll add a text button to the sabotage screen gui so just add a text button or actually let's just duplicate the one that's inside of the tasks of the uh, hat shop oh i totally forgot about the hat shop it has some bugs that we need to fix we'll do that in this episode so select the, the, your text button, let's drag it here, or here. You know what, let's, let's just remove it and use a text, a, a uh, image uh, label, a image button I mean. Let's go to, uh, let's go to the toolbox and go to images and search for sabotage. So we're going to use this one. So just go to uh, your sabotage screen GUI and add a uh, image button. Put it here and make sure that this is uh, con uh, converted to scale by using the plugin and go to this icon and go to copy asset ID and select your image button and set the uh, image to this and set the background transparency to one wait i don't actually remember where it is the sabotage button in the uh, in among us i'm just going to put it here and I'm going to add a um, local script to it called open. So uh, let's add, let's write script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function. Uh, we don't need any arguments. Script dot parent dot parent dot dot uh, main frame dot visible is equal to true actually is equal to not script dot parent dot parent dot mainframe dot visible 
and now we will just uh, add another local script to it and inside of that local script we will create a while loop so while to redo and we'll create firstly a variable for the player so local players play here is equal to game dot players dot local player and in here we will put a while wait or while wait uh, yeah while wait do uh put a wait and uh if player can find first child in poster value in poster value then uh player then a uh, script dot parent dot uh, image dot visible is equal to true else script dot parent dot visible is equal to false and now make sure that this image button is invisible so just search for the visible property and uncheck it and make sure that the main frame is invisible and let's see if uh, this works so let's create a two player server i have been recording for a while uh yeah it's been a lot a lot so let's open these two and see if the imposter is going to be able to sabotage so uh, yeah so we have the sabotage button in here and let's try to sabotage electrical let's firstly go to electrical as you can see i can go to electrical with no problem and I'm going to sabotage since I'm the imposter. Since player two is the imposter, so sabotage. And nothing happens. Yeah, nothing happens. So let's just go to here and see if we have any errors. Actually, not here. In the server. Attempt index near weak door. Well, this is kind of weird, actually. Let's clean up the server and start. And, um, I mean... Uh, let's go back to this script and go back to your sabotage script and workspace.map call find first child room dot name so it's renamed to electrical let's see if we renamed it to electrical yeah it's already renamed to electrical dot name I'm not sure wait let me just go ahead and play and see if it's going to work wait let me just uh, change this to um, one or just zero and let's test this so the game is going to start and I'm going to sabotage and see if it will work. Wait, it ended the round. I know why. Yeah, just change this if hashtag players is uh, lesser equal than 10 or something. Wait, is equal equal to 10. And let's test this and see if it's working. It 
should be working. As you can see, I should be able to sabotage, I think. No, I'm not able to sabotage. Attempt index nail with the. Uh, so, uh, again, the RFK storage comment has retired. Remember dot name. Okay, so we have some serious problems here. Let's just go back to the electrical bot button and instead of sending the player, we'll just send the room. We don't need any player arguments. And remove this dot name and see if it's working should work please work i really want this to work so we still have the same error I think I know why. In here, we'll just make a player comma room. This should work now. I'm not sure, but it should work. Yes, it's finally working. But we still have the same error. Yeah. This is why. But why would it do that? Let me see. This is so weird. Why would it do that? At least we got this working. This is this is making me. I don't know how can I fix this. This error is so weird. Can I collide? Is equal to true, and. Why is this not working? It should be working. Wait. Workspace dot map confined first child room dot name. Oh. I don't know how to fix this. I think. I think I know why. I'm not sure. Let me go to the workspace. Sabotage this. It's now invisible and we can touch it. It's not actually visible, not invisible. And we can go through it, but I don't want to be able, I don't want to be able to go through, just go through this. So let's fix that. I think. I'm not sure, but I think that we just have to make a for loop instead. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure that that will that will work for icon v in pairs. Uh, uh, in pairs workspace dot map on get children. Do. If you don't name 
is equal equal to is equal equal to uh, room dot name then for for uh, x comma c in pairs in pairs room in pairs uh, v call get children do uh if v dot name if a uh, c dot name is equal equal to uh, room to door then to uh, actually to door then c dot can collide dot uh, transparency first transparency is equal to zero and c dot can can collide and wait is can collide cap a capital c can collide yep it is can collide is equal to true so let's see if that works i really really hope this works three two one and we are an imposter let's try to sabotage this yes we don't get any errors and we can't go through it great finally we finally fixed this and now we'll just copy this and we'll put a wait uh five seconds just for testing and we'll set this to one and this to false and now this better be working So it should go back to normal after uh, five seconds. Yes, yes, it's finally working. As you can see, I can sabotage again. I just have to wait 30 seconds. So let's just keep on spamming this until we can sabotage. Yes, it's working. Everything is working great. Finally, I fixed this. Okay, so now let's see you want to make another uh, room that the player is going to be able to sabotage. So just uh, duplicate your uh, electrical thing folder and put it here. Put it wherever you want, actually. And rename it, for example, to uh, navigation. Let's make it red, so we can uh, see the, the difference. Actually, let's make it white. And inside of your uh, sabotage frame, mainframe, uh, just duplicate the... Actually, I have an idea. Instead of uh, that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a UI grid layout to the uh, mainframe. Just add a UI grid layout. And go to the actually we don't need the UI grid layout. I think it's pretty much useless. Just duplicate your uh, electrical button and rename it to navigation and make sure you write navigation right, uh, just like uh, the name of the actual room. 
and I'm going to set the text to uh, uh, navigation. And let's make this back invisible. So let's see if this is working. We finally got sabotaging done. It's actually pretty easy to make. Okay, so let's sabotage electrical first. As you can see, I just sabotage ele electrical and now let's sabotage navigation. And I just sabotage navigation. Let's sabotage both of them. As you can see, I still can't uh, sabotage electrical since I still have the cooldown. So great, this is finally working. Now we are done with sabotaging. All we need to do now is just, uh, I think, a... Uh, let's think about what, what we should do. Yeah. I think let's... Let's uh, make a frame. Let's add a, uh, uh, instead of the main screen GUI, let's add a frame. Or actually, just duplicate your crewmate frame and rename it to uh, crewmate1 with a capital uh, W. And in here, set the text. Uh, of the text label inside of it to uh, crewmates1 and now duplicate your uh, imposter frame and rename it to uh, uh, impost the uh, or imposter the imposter one or just yeah the imposter one the imposter one i can't spell okay so uh set the text to the imposter one okay so now all we have to do is to inside of the main script let's go to the functions module that's inside of it and let's uh, yeah let's uh, create a for loop or a function i should say so function module module dot let's name it to get a winner actually we already have a get winner function a get uh or just func module dot uh let's re let's name the function to something uh like uh, i don't know crewmates no, to who won? Or actually, get winning team. Get winning team. And now we will uh, just loop through the uh, player. So for i comma v in pairs game dot players colon get players do uh if v colon 
find first child imposter imposter value then so if uh, we still have an imposter we will just um I don't know. Uh, let me think about this. This is kind of hard to script. If we can find your start imposter value, then oh, I know. We just have to add a remote event to replicate the storage. And let's uh, see where it is. So it's here, and rename it to uh, something like. Uh, Imposters, imposters, and uh, game dot replicate storage dot imposters on fire server on fire all clients actually. On fire all clients, and we'll send the name of the imposter v dot name. And then we will um, let's uh, yeah let's put an else else game dot replicate storage dot and let's add another remote event. Let's rename it to where is it? Let's find it first. Let's rename it to uh, uh, something like crewmates and game dot picket storage dot crewmates column fire all clients. And let's think about what we have to do after this. Okay, so what we're gonna do is instead of our main uh, script, when the round ends, all we have to do is um, do this. Uh, do call the module function module dot uh get winning winning actually why did i ne renamed it get winning team get winning team uh i just realized that i spelled the winning wrong let's let's spell it Right, winning. Okay, so get winning team, and then all we have to do is to go to uh, the uh, crewmates one frame and enter this local script. And inside of here, we'll just copy create. Uh, Game, we'll change it to uh, game dot replicate storage dot crewmates dot on client to and con connect function and inside of the the imposter one uh, script change this to imposters Okay, so this should be working now. Let's th change the time to something like 5. And this to something like 5. And let's start a two-player server.
Okay, so player two is an imposter. And it doesn't even teleport me. Oh, sorry, I just forgot to change this back to normal. So just to uh, go to uh, this and change it, this back to two. And let's change this to is greater or equal to is less or equal to one actually. Uh, let's wait for this. And test this out. Okay, so who's the, the imposter? So player one is the imposter. It's just... Uh, Try sabotaging. As you can see, player the comet can sabotage, but I can sabotage since um, player two is the imposter. And as you can see, if I just go to navigation and sabotage this in here, actually it's a navigation. We can't get out, and I can go ahead and kill player one and the round ends wait now this is going to be hard to fix so i don't know why i did that why would it do that Oh, I think I know why. And break. In here, I think we have to set. Wait, why did the time just froze like that? Should not do that. This is not supposed to happen. Why would it happen? Let's test that again. I think I might have just messed this entire thing up. This is going to be really hard to fix. Okay, so let's just try to kill uh, this guy. Oh, great! It said that the imposters won. Okay, so uh, the player is the imposter again. Let's try to let the crewmates win. So let's just call an emergency meeting. No, I don't want to do that right now. Actually, let's do it right now. Let's call an emergency meeting. Oh, I just forgot that I think we had a bug with these ads. So let's go ahead and vote for player two. Yeah, player two. No one was rejected. I think we just need for, to wait for the timer to go to finish and why is this report button still... Wait. What the heck? Why is this report button? Wait. No way.
Wait. I know why that happened. I might wait. This. That's so weird. Why do we have th this many bugs in this game? Let's just try the game again with two players. And. Wait for this. Thing to load. And. This player just flinged me. And let's uh, call. No, we don't want to call an emergency meeting. Wait. Oh, yeah, let's kill this guy. It says that the imposter won. Wait. It also says. Uh, this is. Why, why, why would it do that? Okay, so Okay, so I think this is going to be it for today's episode. Uh wait, actually let's add some more things. I just want to finish this series as soon as possible. I don't think we're going to be able to finish it in this art, but I really need to finish this series. It's already like 17 parts. You know what? This is going to be it for today's tutorial. Uh, if this helped, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.